right, welcome to another production of Park TV 16 Sports on location. Tonight we are in St. Louis Park bringing you girls varsity Metro West soccer featuring the Chan Hazen Storm and the Benilde St. Margaret Red Knights. And there you can see their records right there on the screen. This is a Metro West conference rivalry. Chan Hazen, despite their 7-1 and record, they're 3-0 and in the conference. Benilde St. Margaret's just one game back at two and one. And so this is a very important game as we're a little past midway of the season. Both teams trying to get higher up in the stankings and we're glad you're with us here on Park TV 16 Sports. I'm Robert Christensen and we are at the McQuinn Athletic Complex again on the beautiful campus of Benilde St. Margaret's. Looking forward to this match. Red Knights are gonna come out in their Home red uniforms in goal for the Red Knights is number 28, Clara Luger, a senior. And in nets for Chan has a number one, Sydney Falk, just an eighth grader. But with a seven and one record, she must be playing well. And we're about ready to begin. 66 degree day, slightly more fall like than it's been for most of September. Strong winds out of the Northwest. Overall, beautiful day for soccer. Glad you're with us once again as we're streaming on YouTube and we're underway here. Chan has an all in white. Controls the kickoff and they bring it in the Red Knight zone. That is number six with it. Claire Naples. There's another Naples on the Chan Hazen team as Chan Hazen is aggressive right away on their first offensive and now it's taken back away by the Red Knights. That's now number 14 with it, Sienna Carver. Carver now ahead to number 10 along the right sideline. That's Kia Gillian. Gillian, 12 goals on the year. By far and away, their leading goal scorer for the Red Knights. Remember, they came after a state run campaign. I think they were runner-ups in the state tournament last year trying to get back. And now the shot, cross path right in front. Brooklyn Miller with a quick shot. Keep an eye on her. She's sort of the quarterback of the offense for the Red Knights. Now on the near side, number 10, Kia Gillian, also a captain, and it goes out of bounds. And a turnover back towards the Storm. Just underway here, 40 minutes on the board. We're just under 38. Beautiful night here in St. Louis Park. Again, glad you're with us. Now the Storm. Rather than kick it deep down, we'll try to work its way back up and strong forecheck by the Red Knights in display. That's number 22, Abby Garvin, the captain. Storm brings it across midfield, only to be kicked away on defense by number 20, Kayla Smart. She's a relative of mine, I gotta say, my cousin's daughter. She's a captain as well on the team, makes a nice defensive play. I promise to show no favoritism whatsoever. Okay, on the far side, number eight, Miller for the Red Knights. Nice nifty pass, shot taken by number nine. That's Grace Horseshoe, she's the junior. Deflected in front, now the Storm with it, trying to work it back out. Number six with the ball, turns on it. That's Claire Naples. And now back in the Red Knight zone and played away on defense. Now Smart boots it back into the Storm zone and they take it back. That's number 19 with it. Maya Girding, a senior for the Storm. Now to the right side. Storm being very methodical. Nice nifty pass in the middle. Intercepted though by number 22, Abby Garvin. Garvin now with it. Wheels back around, gets it into the back to Smart. Smart now boots it right back into the storm zone. Taken there by number 10, that is Gillian. Gillian, quick shot there, this time by number 12. Hillens tried to get it by the storm defense. Good defense on display there by number 13, Hudson Steer, the senior. She blocked that attempt by Hillens. Now the ball at midfield on the far side, number six, Molly Soderling. And kicked right back out by Smart on defense. Now on the far side, and number nine gets tripped up. That's Grace Horshish. I don't think I'm pronouncing her name right. I have no idea. Now in the corner, Storm comes in, and she gets bumped off the ball. It goes out of bounds. So a good chance there for the Storm, but they were unable to get the shot off. That was number 10 for the Storm racing in there. Grace Fogarty, the senior forward. And now the kick 
by Kayla Smart. Gets it all the way down to midfield. Big leg there by Kayla. Now chasing it on the far side for the Red Knights. That's number nine, Grace Horshish. And it goes out of bounds. And we're going to have a corner kick. I was just looking down at my program for a name and didn't see if that went out of bounds. Oh, no, it's a throw in. So it did. Now Brooklyn Miller with it. She's very nifty with her passes quickly try to get it through the legs of the defender and it gets kicked back out of bounds. Possession will remain with the Red Knights. I Red look Knight at the rolling. clock and we're now under 36 minutes to go here. First half. Play continues on. Pretty clean play so far. No whistles, no cards. Both teams sort of feeling each other out. Red Knights 6 3 and 1. Storm 7 and 1. Now on the far side, again, Horshish, number of the junior, number nine, tries to get it, and now the defense takes it away, but it does draw Red a whistle. And there's going to be a foul on number 11, Kelsey Brostad, the sophomore, for the Storm, and now a throw in for the Red Knights on the far side. Sun starting to set in the west, very bright, but we're going to see that diminish as the sun starts to set early and early here in late September, and now a nice save by Sydney Falk. Wasn't real troublesome, but that's the kind of ball coming in there that if it doesn't get handled, can turn into trouble. So nice defense by the goaltender, Sydney Falk there in my estimation. Now intercepted at midcourt or midfield, Brooklyn Miller, and she does play basketball for the Red Knights as well, and is now a very integral part of their offense, playing the quarterback position right in the middle. And there's Horshis trying to get by the defender. And what a nifty dribbling job by her. She was able to keep possession of the ball despite the tenacious defense by the Storm. Great talent on display. And now play underway. Clock now under 35 minutes, first half. This is the first of a double header. I think we're streaming live on YouTube. If so, glad you're with us live. Now Kayla Smart. And ooh, a little push, I thought, by Horses. It did bring a, yeah, and that did bring a whistle. Even some of the crowd kind of bristled at that. So pretty obvious, so a little infraction. Here's that replay, and here's the push right there, yep. She tried to disguise it, not bad job, but she got busted, and now the foul, and now the Storm, who would, did dominate right off at the kickoff, but I have to say the Red Knights seem to be controlling the time of possession. At least that's what it feels like as it goes out of bounds. And now it is sort of cloudy and it is a little windy out there. I look at the flags and they're blowing quite hard from that northwest. That could have an impact. Right now the wind favors the Red Knights going from left to right. Red Knight throwing. I expect it will die down probably as the sun starts to set. But something to keep an eye on is a factor in the game. Still just 0-0 here, 33 minutes remaining exactly. Now the Storm gets it all the way back to Sydney Falk, the junior goaltender. She quickly moves it to the near side as they try to work it back up. Number 14 plays it, that's Kaya Burrows. And now intercepted and with it the Red Knights number six, Molly Soderling, the senior. Nice nifty pass to Carver. Carver tried to do the give and go and intercepted by the Storms. Number 13, Hudson Steer. Taken right back by Smart for the Red Knights. So a lot of back and forth, kind of like a pinball machine game. And a couple headers there, that time by number 14, Sienna Carver. Now at midfield, chasing it for the Storms. Number nine is Valerie Rocco Tomolala. Not kidding, I think I got that right. But I'm gonna call her Valerie, and that's number nine from here on out. Now on the near far side. That's Grace. Just because I can't pronounce her last name correctly until someone teaches me, I'm gonna call her Grace. So Grace is number nine for the Red Knights going forward, and Valerie is number nine for the Storm. I'm going by first names. All right, there is Valerie. At midfield, kicks it down to the far side. Now intercepted again by Kayla Smart. She boots it right back. Now Miller plays it right at midfield on that far side and in the beautiful sunshine at McGlynn Athletic Complex. Glad you're with us. And now Grace tried to, I don't know what she tried to do there. I thought she tried to do a little backward. 
pass to keep it in bounds, but it went out of bounds and the Storm will throw it in. Storm now plays it to midfield. Nobody home there in a race for it and Grace, number nine for Storm, catches up with first, but then it gets booted right back into the Storm's defensive zone and out of bounds. Ready, throw in. And a throw in now for the Red Knights. Throw in there to Red right throwing. back out of bounds. And throw, doing the throw in duties, that's Lyra Carter, the sophomore for the Red Knights. There's the throw into the corner. Grace, no, that was number 10 this time. Kia Gillian. And it goes out of bounds, and that's a turnover, and it'll be in the possession of Sydney Falk, the goaltender for the Storm. She'll do a kickoff here, just under 30 and a half minutes to remain in the first half. Or remaining, I should say, proper grammar. Now, here come the Red Knights. That's Gillian. Quick shot, great defense by the Storm. But another second chance, Gillian. And now the shotter was at a pass by number 14, Sienna Carver. Could have been either one. Not sure what her intention was there, but a good scoring opportunity nevertheless for the Red Knights. But it's a turnover all the same. Clock continues to tick under 30 minutes. There was the deflection. And I think that was a pass there intended for number nine, Grace. And I think she just didn't pick up on it. Now here comes Brooklyn Miller. She's dangerous, coming right in. Tried to split the defense, gets pushed back by Maya Girding nicely by the Storm defense. Miller though, still able to keep control of that ball despite that pressure. Now Falk comes out, the quick shot and a goal. No, it went wide left. Oh my goodness. The goaltender, Sydney Falk took a risk and she almost paid the price, and then there was a collision. She comes out there, there's the collision, loose ball, quick shot by Gillian, and she just sails it wide left as after the diving Falk. That's the best drama we've had tonight, and look at Falk stretching out there against the goalpost. She knows she dodged a bullet there. Took a big risk coming out there. Looks like the players are okay. Number seven. Mary McDowell was on the turf there. It looks like she's coming out and to be replaced. Clock stopped at 29-12. There's Sydney Falk. She got away with a little bit of a risk. And you can see how windy it is. Just look at her jersey there. It's significant, no question about it. Now her kickoff didn't come out very far. It was into the wind though, almost directly. In the game for the Storm, number 22, Bryn Johnsvold. So Bryn Johnsvold is number 22, a sophomore, no, a freshman, will replace the uh, shaken up Mary McDowell. And now into the corner chasing it is Sienna Carver. Carver gets up with it, now tries to play it and Misplays it out of bounds. She's a little frustrated with herself, understandably. And now Sydney Fox, the, the junior goalkeeper. And now a substitution. And That's number 18, Jessica Dukowski. And Brooke Hillens, number 13, check in. So some fresh oxygen out there for the Red Knights. Still 0 0 here. Big match in the Metro West Conference. In my estimation, the Storm 3 and 0, Benil 2 and 1, chance to move up a little bit in the standings. After a great year last year, I know they graduated a lot of seniors and a lot of talent, but they are off to a good start in the season at 6 3 and 1. Now behind, picking it up is number 22 Abby Garvin. Garvin turns and gets it ahead to number 14 Carver. Carver now pushes it ahead, but it's intercepted, but now picked up again, this time by Gillian. Look out for Gillian, she's got 12 on the year. Centering pass. Nicely played there by number 14, Carver. She was able to use her body to defend against the defender and controlled the ball. Now the shot from way out goes far left, and the goaltender, rather than let it go out of bounds, decides to pick it up. Or somewhat risky move, but she was able to corral it without any difficulty, and now she'll punt it down to midfield. She doesn't have the biggest leg in the world, which understandably, or which explains why the last few times they've, in that position, have tried to work the ball up rather than just boot it into midfield or farther. Now, here comes 
Valerie, number nine, taken right away. Good defense by the Bread Knights. That is really standing out to me here early on is how strong their defense is. Abby Garvin now throws it right in to number 18. That is Jessica Tukowski, recently joining the activities out there on the pitch. Now Valerie, number nine for the Storm. Clearly talented, now intercepted by Carver. Carver having a really nice match here so far, creating opportunities. She seems like she's been everywhere. And her determination as she takes the ball right away, just never giving up. Very intense. Now back to number six. That is Soderling. Soderling working with Carver. Now Carver taking some hits there on defense by the Storm by number 22. Bryn Johnswold. It's a rough game out there. It is physical sometimes, and there was a perfect display of that. I look at the clock, 25 minutes it looks like it's in the sun. I can't quite read it exactly. It looks like about 25. Down goes the Red Knight. No whistle. Play goes on. Number 13, Hillens. Brook, who also is a recent substitute, now intercepted right back. There's that pinball effect. Now here come the Storms. Number 13, that's Hudson Steer. Moves in, centering pass, the quick shot, and what a nice shot that was by number 20, Bella Naples, just a freshman. Well done, she Back went for that upper score, corner and came seven, very close. Look at the traffic she was in, able to keep control. She knew exactly what she was doing. There was spin on that ball, and she darn near cooked that in. What a great play by Bella Naples, freshman. Unbelievable. To appreciate soccer, those are the kind of plays you have to appreciate. It's not about the scoring. That was really fun to watch. Okay, now Red Knights with it. Brooklyn Miller chasing it. And intercepted by number 20, Bella Naples. Haven't called her name for the first 15 minutes of this match, but she's suddenly starting to emerge. Just a freshman, this is probably her first varsity year, although she may have played as an eighth grader. We do see them. Now here come the Storm. Trying to penetrate that tough red curtain defense. Now the Storm's number five, Cusick. Now Valerie, number nine, loses it. Kicked out of bounds by number two for the Red Knights, Lyra Carter on defense. Under 25 minutes to go here, first half. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports on location. We're streaming live on YouTube. So glad you're with us. Gorgeous night, 65 degrees. Now the wind has died down, so it's blustery. Sometimes it's uh, gale force seeming winds and now it's uh, much calmer. Clouds moving in, fall weather starting to descend upon the upper Midwest here in Minnesota. Now the storms, number 14 with it. Kyra Burrows, nifty move, gets it over to 19. That is Myra Girding for the Storm. And now back to Kayla Smart to the near side. And Sienna Carver, 14 going against number 14, Kaya Burrows. And Burrows wins that match this time and intercepts it and kicks it down. But now there's Smart for the Red Knights and she kicks it out of bounds. That'll be a turnover. And that comes with 23-15 remaining first half. No score so far. Just a couple of scoring opportunities, but good ones for both teams have gone by the wayside. Now the Storm, oh, that pass almost got through. Great vision by Valerie, in my opinion. Now back for the Storm. They seem to be getting a little more possession, and now Sienna Carver intercepts it, but back in midfield, and now Brooklyn Miller. Haven't heard a lot from her. She tries to come down there, and Valerie just having her way there, able to take that at will, seemingly. Might be one reason why Brooklyn Miller has been a little bit neutralized in this match as she's going against Valerie for the Storm. Now on that far side, number nine, that's Grace. Oh, and that is deflected off the Storm, but it comes right to the Red Knights. Number 18, Brooke Hillens. Now Hillens defensively plays it back to Kayla Smart, the senior captain. She boots it down, she's got a strong leg. Gets through to Gillian. Gillian now gets by the defender and now a chance. Tough angle, 
Defender still playing her well and sends her right back. Centering pass, misses. Now Brooklyn Miller comes in from the backside and it gets intercepted by number six, Claire Naples. Chance there for the Red Knights as they come back still with it, but not as good as it was as the defender was able to catch up on Gillian as I thought she was about to blow by her. And able to recover just enough to cut that angle off enough so that here it is. She had her beat, I thought, but look at that. She came right back up and played great defense, forced her back into the other defender. Great defense by the storm there. Now checking in, number five for the Red Knights. That's Hannah Buller, the sophomore. Falk, she boots to the near side. That's a dangerous as it goes out of bounds and a quick turnover just like that. She tried to get it to the near side to Hudson Steer and she was unable to handle it. I think that would have been hard for anyone. Not sure that is the best way to get the ball back up the field. Although that might be as, look at that nifty backhanded pass by number 10 for the Storms, Grace Fogarty to Valerie. But now on defense, there's again number 22, Abby Garvin, the senior captain. Her and Smart are putting the lockdown on defense. Doing a good job, just kicking it right out of there, just like that. Wasting no time, very efficient. Now back, and there's Smart, and if she does what she's always doing, she kicks it right back in there. And that might be a smart play. Now catching up with it just barely and not quite in time was number five, Hannah Buller, the sophomore. Almost a good assist attempt there. Look at that, that's what I was talking about. Nice job pulling that up. That was brilliant, wasn't it? Thank you for that. Grace Fogarty, that was the number 10 with that backhanded play. That was, if I were her, I would get that on her highlight reel for sure. I thought that was brilliant. All right, and there she is, Fogarty. Watch her do her magic. Leading pass and coming there to gets by Smart. Oh my goodness, she just caught up with it in time. Or there was a Storm player to take advantage and it might have been a breakaway right there. As I look at the clock, we're under now 20 minutes to go here, first half. Here comes the Storms, number 13, Hudson Steer. Centering pass and the hard shot by Bella Naples, as we call her name again. A little far up, but look at the ambition. She certainly didn't think so. Thinking big, good job. This is a great match despite the 0-0 score. A lot of good action here, well played soccer. And here comes Bella Naples now, number 20. She's dangerous. Coming right in there. Oh, she tried to sneak the pass without getting the offsides and it just got slowed up there by the defense. Looked like Smart and along with her was number, was at 25, Aaron Korosik if I'm not mistaken. No, that was Bryn Higgins, actually. Brooke Higgins, Hillens, I should say. Brilliant. Now out of bounds against the Storm and now coming in to throw it in. Quickly there is number six, Molly Soderling, and it goes out of bounds, and now the Storm get it back. 1840 remaining first half. Fogarty, number 10, now Brooklyn Miller. Miller trying to get control of it, and now it's taken right back away by the Storm. They are starting to show some momentum. That is Claire Maples. Now to Bella Naples. Try to get it back. I'm going to assume it's her sister. Now to the far side, number nine. That is Valerie. Gets it out. And now number five with it for the Storm. That is Connolly Cusick. And again, seemingly, Storm seem to be getting a little more momentum on offense as Kayla Smart, 20, plays it to the mid. Inside, now 22 with it. That is Garvin. Storm trying to be a little more aggressive, I think, on the four check. For, I know that's a hockey term, but it's really the same when you're trying to steal the ball back in the other side's zone, just like in hockey. You might give up possession, but you forecheck it, kick it right back. And after that play, that is Sydney Focht coming out to scoop it up. And she is gonna punt it, and that's her best kick of the day. Gets it out to about the 40, but it's picked up by Brooklyn Miller. Let's see if she can work her magic here. She brings it on the far side, lead pass, nicely placed, perfectly though. And now the return. That was Gillian. 
And Miller tried to center it, but she was double teamed, wasn't she? And well done by the defense, by the Storm, but they needed the double team, Brooklyn Miller, to stop her. Now checking in Lauren Hillens. And number 12, that's Lauren Hillens there. And for the Storm, Riley Knutson, sophomore, checking in. Look at the clock on the scoreboard, 6.34. Now here comes the Storm and Fogarty. She's being triple teamed, literally. Now the pass back to number five, Connolly Cusick. Her pass is blocked and the kick is good for three points. That would have been a nice field goal from what, the 27? That's a 37 yarder. Hmm. I don't know if the Storm's field goal kicker is any good, but uh, that was a pretty nice shot there from a good distance. 37 yards is nothing to sneeze at. All right, now back to Kayla Smart for the Red Knights. Under 16 to go, first half, no score in this key Metro West matchup. Now to the near and midfield is number six with it. That is Claire Naples, far side. That's number four, Riley Knutson, who just checked in. Knutson working against number two, Lyra Carter, or Lyra Carter probably. And it's out of bounds. And that's a round of applause for the Storm as they maintain possession. Now the throw in by Knutson. Fogarty. Try to get it back out, intercepted by number nine for the Red Knights, Grace. Now the give and go on that far side to number 12, Lauren Hillens, who just checked in the match. Now back in the storm zone, kicked out of bounds defensively by Kaya Burles. It'll be a throw in for the Red Knights as we now have 15 minutes to go. First half following this matchup, we're bringing the boys, Benil, soccer match. I'm assuming that's against Chan Hazen, but I'm not sure. But stay with us for that great matchup as well. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports streaming live on YouTube. You can always find it on the website for delayed broadcasts, or I think you can go back to YouTube and watch them later as well. In any event, glad you're with us. Now under 15 to play. That is number one, Sydney Focht, goaltender, gets it out to about the 32, bounces though, gets it perfectly played to Fogarty though, you can't deny her accuracy and now they'll play it back to number seven for the Storm, that is Mary McDowell, McDowell finds some open space, nifty pass over to the right side to number five, Connolly Cusick, she'll move it ahead, trying to get it to number four, that is Knutson, Knutson able to maintain possession, gets it back. So now the Storm establishing a little bit of offense, but now a miscue and now the Red Knights have it. That is Hillens, Lauren Hillens, tried to streak it ahead to a cutting Red Knight. And that's who it was, number five, Hannah Buller, and she took it right back. Well done by Hannah Buller, the sophomore, and it comes out of bounds and now a throw in for number six for the Red Knights, Molly Soderling. And a substitute. 11, Paige Perry. Now checking in, number 11, that's Paige Perry. P-A-R-R-Y, she'll come in for number six, Molly Soderling, and we'll throw it in. That substitution comes with just about 13 minutes remaining here, first half. Throw in, gets all the way through to Gillian. Gillian trying to control it. Gets kicked out of bounds by number seven for the Storms, McDowell. Red Knights will throw it in again, this time with Paige Perry, who just checked in right to the Storm, back to Perry. Now over to number 18, Dukowski. She can't control it. Now Bella Naples. Boy, that's an Italian name if you've ever heard one, huh? Bella Naples, love it. Now, headed by the Storm to number five, Connolly Cusick. Played by the Storms. That was number 11 for the Storm. Kelsey Brostad on defense doing a nice job, but now it's right back in their zone, headed by Gillian. Trying to get some offense going here. 
quick turn and down goes Lauren Hillens. No call on the play. Referee says play on. And now here comes the storm. Hillens slow to get up, but it looks like she's gonna be okay. Leading pass, try to get the Fogarty. She was wide open and she knew it. You can see her jumping as if she knew she was wide open and they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, she's got her hands on her head right there. Such frustration and a great opportunity by the Storm. Red Knights dodge a bullet. There's number 20, Kayla Smart. She'll do the kicking on her. She's got a strong leg. And now you can see the wind has kicked up quite a bit, gusting out of the Northwest. That's bringing this cool fall Canadian air. This fall is in Minnesota, finally. Or maybe not finally, depending on what you care for weather-wise. Now out to midfield, played back by number six, Claire Naples. And out of bounds in favor of the storm to throw it in. That's number 14, Kaya Burrows. Quickly now gets it into Fogarty. She's dangerous, her and that Bella Naples. There's gonna be any scoring. I expect either one or both of them to be involved for the storm. Now, lead pass, chasing it is number 10 for the Red Knights. That is Gillian. And out of bounds in favor of the Red Knights. And to throw it in again is the recent substitution, Paige Parry. Now Gillian gets it back to Parry. Parry tried to get it near the sideline. It looked like to number 10, Gillian. He was coming up the near side. Or excuse me, that was 12, Hillian, Hillens. And they were unable to connect. So now it's a turnover and a throw in for the Storm. I look at the clock and there's 10-20 remaining now first half. And now another turnover right back for the Red Knights. Sun starting to set and it's also becoming a lot more overcast. That's why we don't see the sun as we did at the beginning of the match. Temperature will start to drop. Started in the mid 60s, but I think we're gonna be in the upper 50s by when it's all said and done here. And we're now under 10 minutes and that is Sydney Falk to midfield. Turning, nice, nifty move there by the Storm. Is that Bella Naples? It is, of course. Look at that nifty pass back to number four, Knutson, and her shot, oh my goodness, almost got by the goaltender, Clara Luger, but what a play by 28 as she heaves that ball down. Watch that shot, folks. That is big time, had spin, and it was going right in there, wasn't it? My goodness, what a save by Clara Luger. Amazing, that saved a goal. That shot was going in and that was not an accident either, that shot. There's some talent on this Storm team. I'm starting to see why they're seven and one. Now Valerie. Good defense by the Red Knights, number six, Molly Soderling. Clara Luger saved a goal there, literally. Zero, zero though, it remains under nine minutes. Storm. Pretty evenly matched. Both teams have shown good offensive opportunities. Both teams have showed, showed great defense. It's really living up to, uh, I think, a top-notch Metro West girls soccer varsity matchup here. Very entertaining. Hope you're enjoying it as well. Now eight and a half minutes to go. On the far side, that is number five with it, Connolly Cusick. And it goes out of bounds. And now eight, checking Brooklyn in, Miller, eight, Brooklyn Miller. So after a little bit of a rest, I, they've kept her at bay defensively, the Storm half, Brooklyn Miller. We did one, or at least I did one other match earlier in the season, and she really dominated. I, don't, I think it was against a much inferior opponent, but they've been able to neutralize her, and now here come the Storm. Another nice play there by Fogarty. Wow, watch her move. And now here comes Brooklyn Miller, fresh off the bench. The pass ahead, tried to get it to Gillian, but beating her to the punch was number 19 for the Storm, Maya Girding on defense. And now Fogarty, Fogarty, she is just in complete control. Watch that footwork, folks, amazing. Now the lead pass, trying to get it to Valerie. Can she catch up in time? And Luger comes over and makes another save to stop that from getting out of control. There she is, Claire Luger looking all in in control. Very confident, 
the senior goalkeeper doing a great job putting her face right in there risking injury she could have taken that ball in the face but she got right in there and kept her focus and got that ball back great job by luger two great defensive plays by the goalkeeper in the last minute as now I look at the clock, we're under seven to go here first half. Fast moving first half, very few whistles, no timeouts so far. Letting them play. And it's been a pleasure to watch it and bring you this game on Park TV 16 Sports. I'm Robert Christensen, again, glad you're with us. Now the Storms, number four, that's Knutson. She came in off the bench and she has really made an impact along with Bella Naples. Now the throw in by number 11. She's been doing that all since she's come in. Paige Perry, a recent substitution, and she's good at it. She's got a strong throw. Now here comes Valerie, gets by the defense, and her quick shot just gets by. And all three of the scoring opportunities by the Storm have been high. They've had uh, action on them, curve on them, bending it, and just very difficult shots to defend and Claire Luger has shown great concentration in defending the goal and keeping the score at zero. Now Kayla Smart, the senior captain with the big leg, boots it out, gets it near midfield, played by Brooklyn Miller, Miller with it. She's got that quick pass, but the defense of the storm preventing them from hooking up. Now back out at midfield, played by number six, Molly Soderling. Far side as we're now under five and a half minutes to go here. First half, still no score. Now Brooklyn Miller looking for something to go on here. Now Smart boots it back into the storm zone, coming over to play it for the Red Knights. That's Buller. And she was unable to come away with it. That was Gillian. And now Smart boots it right back into the storm zone. Bounces. Miller trying to get control almost. Now Hillens plays it, that's Lauren Hillens for the Red Knights, and now number seven for the Storm, McDowell boots it back into the Red Knights zone. Only to be played by the Red Knights, now taken away by Bella Naples, Naples with it. Watch her nifty footwork, turns on it. To the far side, that's number 13 with it, now Steer. Steer tried to center it to Valerie. Now with it is Knutson, number four. Knutson coming back, the double team, takes a little push, still maintains the quick shot, deflected in front by number 22, Abby Garvin, but she did show some frustration because it went out of bounds across the goal line. That means it's gonna be a corner kick right there. She wished she would have handled it just a little bit better, but boy, there was some pace on that ball. You can hardly blame her. And now the first corner kick of the night is going to be for the Storm doing the honors. That's number 13, Hudson Steer. Four minutes to go. Ball comes in. Gets tipped by Brooklyn Miller. Still alive in front. Chasing it now is number 14 for the Red Knights. That's Sienna Carver. And now kicked right back in by the Storms. Number 11. That was Brostad. That's the Storm trying to keep the pressure on. Lose possession as it goes out of bounds on the near side. Nope, they'll keep possession, excuse me. That's number 14. Burroughs quickly throws it in. Three and a half minutes now remaining. First half, Storm applying the pressure, trying to get a goal here on the road. Late in the first half. Red Knights haven't been on the offense in the last several minutes. Trying to get their foothold back on offense. 3.15 to go. On the far side, a push from behind. This referee's letting him play, and now here comes Luger. Boy, she is not afraid to take a hit. She comes out there and takes a hit, but she forced that ball away from that goal. Good job by her once again. Now the throw in, though. The Storm keep the pressure on. That's 13 Hudson Steer to Valerie. Quick pass. Try to get it to number five. Connolly Cusick now back out to midfield, but kicked right back into the offensive zone is Mary McDowell, and it gets back into Clara Luger's hands with coming up on two and a half minutes to go. No score, but the pressure by the storm here late in the first half has been palpable. Now Valerie for the storm. Trying to find some sort of seam to get another shot to 
take the lead. Red Knights looking to get possession, and here they go. Now they got a chance here. That's to the near side, Lauren Hillens. Hillens with it, with some space. Now she'll get it ahead to number five. That is Buller. Buller now, and it goes out of bounds. Is it gonna be a corner kick off the Storm? It doesn't look like it. Out of bounds, good defense by the Storm. Under two minutes now to go. And you can feel the temperature is starting to drop here quite noticeably as we look at Sydney Falk. Now checking in Lyra Carter. I didn't know she had left, but uh, she's now back in. And one and a half minutes to go. Storm, Red Knights trying to get a goal here late and that would be a big momentum booster for either team late in the first half. Now kicked away by number seven, Mary McDowell for the Storm. Back out to midfield, there is Bella Naples. Naples trying to get by the defender, number 15, Anna Prong. Now back and kicked away by Lyra Carter. And going down and that brought a, now a free kick here. No, for the free kick, there's Kayla Smart. So there was a foul on the Storm, 44 seconds remaining and a chance possibly here for the Red Knights with the free kick. Smart comes up, boots it right in, trying to get it into scoring position. Now number five, that is Buller. And back out to midfield, now Valerie for the Storm and they'll try to turn it into offense here. And they do, two on three, lead pass for Naples, perfectly placed, she goes down. No call on the play and it's taken away by the Red Knights. Wow, what an action that was. Bella yes, Naples was about to put a shot on and just got tripped up. No foul called. And now we're right here at the end of half number one. What a half it was. One of the more exciting no score halves I've ever seen. And there's our score, 0-0 zero, zero after one half of play. Come on back for half number two. First, they said cigarettes were safe. We know how that turned out. Now, they say they didn't market e-cigarettes to teens? Fact, more than one in four high school students are vaping, and 80% say their first e-cigarette was flavored. Vaping is harmful to developing brains. The reason we think vaping is safe? Marketing. Same lies, different day. Tell Big Vape to quit lying. Park TV 16 sports production of Metro West Girls Soccer, Chanhazen and Benild. We are about to begin the second half. In fact, we have begun the second half in this major key matchup between the storm of Chanhazen and the Red Knights of Benild St. Margaret's. You are watching Park TV 16 sports. We're streaming live on YouTube. My name is Robert Christensen. So glad you're with us. 0-0 zero, zero our score, but that does not belie the great action that we saw in half number one. If you're just joining us here for half number two, you are in for a treat as the Red Knights now on offense get a shot off. That's Gillian. And they didn't show a lot of offense late in the first half, but they got out of the gate here fast. And that's a save by number one, Sydney Falk for the Storm. She boots at that time. That's a big kick. I was sort of a little critical of her leg strength there in the first half, but that was a heck of a punt, although she does have the wind behind her and it's gusting mightily out of the Northwest. So that is probably a big explanation for it. Red Knights will be going into the wind in the second half, whether that has any impact or not, we'll see. But we're back underway here, just under 40 minutes to go. Second half, our score 0-0. Zero, zero. Red Knights 6-3 and 1. Storm 7 and 1. One game separate separates them in the conference standings. 3-0 and oh, the Storm, 2-1 and one the Red Knights. There, the stage is set. 38 and a half minutes to go. And the throw in on the far side will be by the Storm. They'll be going left to right in this half with the wind behind him and throwing it in. That's number 14, Hannah Burrows. And it goes right back out of bounds and she'll do it again. Number 14, again, her name is 
Not Hannah, Kaya Burrows, excuse me. And now it goes right out of bounds and a turnover to the Red Knights. That's Kayla Smart on defense and she'll do the kick. Looks like they got a free kick call there. Into the win, Kayla Smart boots it, gets it down the near sideline, attempted to get it to number 14, her teammate Sienna Carver goes out of bounds and now the quick throw in by Lyra Carter and it gets bounced right back to Smart on defense. Good job by the Storm, kicking it right back into the offensive zone and now they take possession. That is Bella Naples and it gets booted right back on defense. And that is number 14 for the Storm, Kaya Burrows once again. Early here in the first half, neither team except for the Red Knights right off the kickoff got a point blank shot from the right side by Gillian only to be saved by the goaltender Sydney Faulkt. Now back for the Red Knights on defense. That's number six, Molly Soderling. Soderling to the near side and it gets deflected out of bounds by number 13 for the Storm, Hudson Steer. Now nine for the Red Knights, that's Grace. I don't know how to pronounce her. I had a chance to, to have spoken with Kayla Smart's parents. I should have asked them how they pronounce Grace's last name, and I forgot. So we're just gonna go by Grace, because I don't want to butcher it. All right, on the far side, out of bounds. Towards the Storm, number 14 with it will be Kaya Burrows, senior midfielder. She'll throw it in, still very gusty, starting to get chilly out there. The jackets are definitely on. It was just yesterday at this time, it was 92 degrees with a dew point of 73. And now we're approaching the upper 50s by the time the night is over with strong winds and a bit of a wind chill. And what a difference a day makes here in Minnesota. Fall has arrived for sure. Now the storm with it. Out of bounds off the Red Knights. That was Lyra Carter. And the storm will get a throw in on that far side. Both teams still looking for their footing on offense to be thrown in there by 14, Kaya Burrows. Burrows working that far sideline, been calling her name quite a bit here early in the second half. I look at the clock, 35 and a half minutes remaining. No score. And now a whistle and Fogarty, number 10, also a very strong offensive player for the Storm. I understand they have a couple of division one, maybe three division re recruits. And I can almost guess who they are from who I've seen. Now Kayla Smart, out of bounds. Turnover now towards the storm. They'll quickly get it going. And you can see the wind, look at the flag. Look at how it's gusting there. And it has been sporadic, but it's mostly been gusting rather than not. And it's gusting there. That's kind of the change in the weather here. Now here come the storm. They take it away, move it ahead. Now intercepted by number 15 for the Red Knights. That was on a prong. Now to the near side, played by Grace. Grace with it. Nice nifty behind the back pass. Gets bumped off from behind. No whistle. There is a whistle coming late. That'll be a free kick for the Red Knights. Kayla Smart comes over to the near side. She'll do the honors just inside the 50-yard line as we approach 34 minutes to go. Smart now boots it in to the middle, trying to get it ahead to number 10, Gillian. Gets deflected back out. Now Brooklyn Miller, she's got space, she's dangerous. Quick pass over, a little hard as she tried to get it to Gillian, it went off her foot, now back out. Bella Naples, taken away by Hillens. Hillens now, nifty pass back, and there is number five, Connolly Cusick almost stealing it for the Storm, causing some difficulty. Now Fogarty along with number 22 for the Red Knights, Abby Garvin, Fogarty comes away with it. Pass over to the right side, intercepted by the Red Knights. That was number 14. Sienna Carver. Carver now boots it back towards the middle. Try to get it to Gillian. She jumps, and you can see the wind impact that shot. I think if you're the Red Knights, you've got to keep the ball low or it's going to blow in that wind because it is really gusting, and they're going to be going into it. That's going to be a bit of an obstacle for them. Not that the Storm's defense isn't already. 
And again, the temperatures are dropping noticeably as the sun sets here in St. Louis Park. Now on the far side, Red Knights trying to get an opening here. That's Gillian. Gillian now looking for somebody to pass it to. Almost taken away by number 10 for the Storm Grace Fogarty. Now to the near side. Nice job by Gillian maintaining possession. Now Grace with it. Gets it taken away. Fogarty tries to get it. Now Grace back there. Back and forth we go on the possession. Now to the near side. Played by Abby Garvin. Garvin just gets it ahead as she gets pushed off the ball. Storm gets possession. Now ahead to number 13 for the Storm. Hudson Steer only to be taken away by number six's Molly Soderling for the Red Knights and now down at midfield. Foul on the storm. There was a foul on the storm against number 14, Sienna Carver. Here's that replay right here as she does get pushed from behind. Good whistle and now a free kick and a chance for Kayla Smart to put him in scoring position. Deep down towards the top of the box. Miller comes away with it to Gillian with a shot, gets deflected and an easy save in my estimation by Sydney Fox. So a good chance there for the Red Knights. Nevertheless, it'd been quite a while since they'd had a good scoring opportunity. That comes with 32-42 remaining. And now they've got a chance again. Brooklyn Miller deflected in front by number six for the Storms, Claire Naples. Claire Naples is the senior. Her sister is the freshman, Bella. Now there is Bella with it. Quick left-handed shot, it just misses wide left. And boy, you can see the talent in that young lady's shot and playmaking. Watch this with the left foot. No spin on that ball. Look at that, just missed the corner as Claire Luger comes over. There's some real talent in that Bella Naples for sure. Now Storm with just under 31 to go. Red Knights playing them tough here at 0-0. Now ball played in. Now to the near side. Played by 13, Hudson Steer. Great soccer match here. Just really fun to watch. Really entertaining stuff. Despite the no goal scoring. Now on the far side. Played by number 14, Kaya Burrows, just that play there was entertaining to, to me. Just the way she was able to look at that play by Fogarty. Reverse pass to herself and they both go down, somersaulting around. You think these girls don't care? Of course they do. Look at that play. Laying it all out there on the line. That is real, real entertainment and sportsmanship right there. Look at the shot going down as Hudson Steer. They've got to have a bunch of bruises tomorrow, don't they? Very physical match here. Now coming in there was Grace for the Red Knights, trying to get the ball back on defense. Now it's deflected to midfield. Gillian can't quite get there in time. Now deflected and now coming away with it for the Storm is number seven, Mary McDowell. Gets it taken right back by number 14 for the Red Knights, Sienna Carver. She advances it to Gillian now, suddenly in the Storm zone. Under 30 minutes to go now. Gillian on the far side, being guarded closely by number 14's Kaya Burrows. Centering pass, no one there. Brooklyn Miller couldn't quite get there in time. Intercepted by Claire Naples. Now back in, and that is Brooklyn Miller. Miller now, nice turnaround, nifty pass to Hillens, the give and go back to Miller, and it gets deflected back out to midfield. Thought they might have had something brewing there as we approach 29 minutes to go. Smart, or excuse me, that's number 15. Anna Prang gets it back in the offensive zone. Storm now more on their heels as goaltender Sydney Falk, number one, comes out and scoops it up. Wind still blowing, you can see her hair getting blown about. There's a nifty kick there. Miller though intercepts it, gets it back to Grace. Grace now with Miller. Sunshine back out. Miller can't quite handle that. Gets back to number five, Connolly Cusick for the Storm. She puts it back in the Red Knights zone. Headed there by Smart. Now off the face of number 15, Prang. But Storm retain possession. Number 10, the talented Grace Fogarty. Her pass is deflected. Gets bounced right back out to midfield. Played by Connolly Cusick, number five. Now to the near side, number 13, Hudson Steer. And try to get it into that freshman, Bella Naples. 
And it eludes her, and now it's back there for number 14, Kaya Burrows. Burrows coming in. She gets double team. Ball still played. Deflects the Huff bodies everywhere. Now in the sunshine in that far corner. And out of bounds. And boy, the play is rough out there. Incredibly physical. Look at the clock still ticking down now. As we're under 28 minutes to go, as we look at Kaya Burrows, the senior. Tough player there for the Storm. This game is going to start to get more real as that clock comes down, and these players are going to fight for this big, important conference match win. Now some substitutions, first time in the second half. That's number 13 checking in. Brooke Hillens, also a freshman. And I didn't quench the other substitution. If I learn it, I'll bring it along to you. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. We are broadcasting live on YouTube from Benilde St. Margaret's in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Glad you're with us. I'm Robert Christensen. The first of a double header we're bringing on Park TV 16 Sports tonight. Following this matchup, the boys Benilde team will take the pitch and show us what they got here on Park TV 16 Sports. Okay, Red Knights kick it back to midfield and you can see the wind just push it right back, right there before your eyes, couldn't you? Now to the near side, number six with it, Soderling, centering pass intended for Gillian, gets it over to Hillians, gets by her, but there on the far side was Lear Carter trying to get it, but taken away by Cusick for the storm and a nifty pass ahead right on the button to number 13, Steer. But Steer gets it taken away by the Red Knights, number 13, who just checked in, Brooke Hillens. Nice job on defense. Producing right away on that substitution for Coach Scott Helling Christie. Now here comes the Storm. Bella Naples going against Smart. Smart pushes off and wins that battle. Gets the ball back out. And to the near side, out of bounds, and it's gonna stay with Red Knights. Good defense there by Kayla Smart. Now to the near side, played by Grace, she boots it down. Chasing it will be Gillian in a foot race, and the Storm kick it out of bounds to allow the defense to catch up and stop the momentum. Under 26 minutes to go here. Second half, no score but not for a lack of drama and intensity. Great girls soccer. Super entertaining. Now throwing it in, number six, Molly Soderling. Rejected back out, now Miller. Oh, and there's a shot from behind right in front of the referee, and he does blow his whistles. Gillian goes down. And that was a necessary whistle right here. The push from behind. The infraction is gonna go against Maya Gerding, and now we're gonna have a significant free kick from fairly close in, just outside the 20 left hash mark. And who's gonna do the honors? Is it Kayla Smart or number 12, Lauren Hillens? And they might try to do a little fake job. There's a three person wall and it's gonna be Hillens as she goes right towards the corner and over to make the save, Sydney Falk. So Hillens tried to sharpshoot it in that upper right hand corner into the wind. And she got it off there. Could it, boy, that was a nice shot. She got it right in there, and it was a good save by Sydney Falk. So our score remains at zero with now approaching 24 minutes remaining. Shadows starting to creep farther and farther across the field. The sun sets directly to our west from our vantage point. And there's a whistle, and what do we have here? It looks like some shoes being tied. So an equipment timeout, just temporary. Red Knights will have possession. Clock continues to wind down, though, under 24 minutes. Lyra Carter with a big throw into the corner. Storm momentarily with possession, though. And playing it for the Red Knights was Abby Garvin. Now back out to midfield. Storm trying to get possession. Kind of up in the air. Now Brooklyn Miller, number eight, comes away with it. Looking to make something happen. Gets it ahead to the far side to number five. That was Hannah Buller. Now back out to midfield. Bella Naples 
the freshman phenom for the Storm. Look at her turn around and get some space for herself. And now she loses it to the recent substitute, Brooke Hillens, the freshman, showing good defense. Now Naples gets it right back and puts a shot on net from about 22 yards away. And there was Clara Luger for the save. Under 23 minutes to go. You can start to feel the intensity build as we approach the end of the second half here. You know the storm, they don't wanna go to seven and two. Seven and one, eight and one feels a lot better for them. They wanna keep the momentum and keep some distance between them and the Red Knights in the Metro West division. And there's a couple of uh, substitutions for the Storm. Number three is Hannah Taha. And number four, Riley Knutson, who played quite a bit as a substitute in the latter half of half number one. And now number three, that's Hannah Taha. She'll throw it in to Fogarty. Look at that move by Fogarty right there. That's worth the price of admission just to see a shot like that. That is brilliant. Very talented. Now Storm goes it in and now Clara Luger comes over for the save. Under 22 to go, Luger punts it to midfield. Played by number 12, a header by Lauren Hillens. Now to the far side and out of bounds. Throw in by number two, Lyra Carter. And quickly right back out of bounds. She'll, and that's a turnover for the Storm. And now to throw it in is Kaya Burrows for them. 22-22, 21-22 remaining. Fast moving match here. Very few whistles now coming out. Is Luger the goalkeeper for the Red Knights and she'll punt it again back down into the sunshiny part of the field. Intercepted though by Bella Naples. And right back to Luger again, and she'll do it again. Luger with the punt. This time she'll try the near side in the shadows. Headed there by Grace. Grace trying to play it, able to get her foot on it, but only to be intercepted and rejected by number six, Claire Naples for the Storm. And now Grace with it, number nine. Junior forward for the Red Knights, trying to get it back out. Now picked up by number three, Hannah Taha. She'll play it back to midfield, and that's number seven with it, Mary McDowell. McDowell tried to get it ahead to Valerie. Valerie comes away with it, tries to get it ahead to Bella Naples. Her shot with a tough angle, and couldn't quite get a lot on it. Would made it an easy save for that woman right there. Number 28, Clara Naples. And here's that pass, Valerie able to handle it. Quick pass to Naples. Boy, they move fast, and they got a shot on goal there, only to be saved again by Luger. Now 20 minutes remaining, halfway through the second half, still no score. Big matchup here, Red Knights trying to get to seven and three. Chan has an already at seven and one. Big matchup here at home. Stay with us for the men's. Guy, boys, I say, soccer match. I was informed by the athletic director that there's gonna be a halftime entertainment show in the halftime for the boys matchup. I think the dance line is gonna be performing, so I think we might be bringing that to you as well. So a little advertising for the boys matchup. I think they're also taking on the storm. I don't know anything about their backgrounds, but stay with us for more high school varsity soccer, Metro West style here from Benilde St. Margaret's on Park TV 16 Sports. Now here come the storm. Get bumped off by Grace and that does draw a whistle. I expect that's gonna be a free kick for the storms. Number three, Hana Taha, and it is. As the clock is now below 19 minutes here. There's a good look at the field and the shadows coming across from the grandstand. And coming over is Kaya Burrows, number 14. Tough player for the Storm. She'll do the honors. That's from about the 39 yard line, but on the far near side. And she'll kick it into the sunshine in the box. Valerie unable to pick it up and Kayla Smart boots it out of trouble right to midfield and right on the button to Gillian. Gillian able to control it. And now to the near side, that's Grace. Grace one-times it now to the corner and chasing it 
for the Red Knights was number 12, Lauren Hillens, but unable to catch up with it in time. And now the Storm have possession back in the Red Knights zone. That's number four, Riley Knudsen. Knudsen goes down in a collision. She trips up with number six, Soderling. And the Red Knights get the call and the possession following that collision. Now Grace punts it into the midfield. Lyra Carter able to handle it. Thought it might have went off her wrist, but no whistle. It was right in front of the referee. Now Grace with it, a lot of spin on that ball. Now Brooklyn Miller. Miller at the 50 yard line. Brings it in on the left side. Looking for someone to pass to. Gets by the defense. Being guarded by Kyra Burrows. Burrows trying to slow her up. Now in the far corner. Miller trying to make something happen. And out of bounds and she'll throw it in. That's Brooklyn Miller. Junior midfielder gets it in. Chance here for the Red Knights. Centering pass deflected. Picked up though by Gillian. She's dangerous, she's got 12 goals on the year. Now number 22 with it, Abby Garvin. Gillian, opening shot and blocked to herself was Sydney Fox. So good opportunity there for the Red Knights. Another great save by Fox and the Storm. Far out though, tough goals to score, but there was a lot of pace on that ball as evidenced by the fact that Fox could not handle it cleanly had to deflect it in front of her. A testament to the power of that shot. Now intercepted by the Storms. This is Fogarty, she might have numbers. On defense though, number 22, Abby Garvin, isn't gonna have any of it. As it goes out of bounds, the question is, did it go off the Red Knights? Are we gonna have a corner kick here for the Storm? It's only the second one that I can remember of tonight's match and it comes with 16, 18 to go. Red Knights, I don't think have had any corner kicks. This is the second time for the Storm. They waste no time. Brooklyn Miller intercepts it, tries to boot it back out. Now played by number five for the Red Knights. That's Hannah Buller. And out of bounds and a throw in now for the Storm or the Red Knights. And it looks like that's gonna be Fogarty, number 10. She gives it up though to number five. That is Connolly Cusick. She'll throw it in, in the sunshine on the far side. That is Burroughs coming over, knocking it out of bounds. Excellent. Hannah Buller aggressively on defense. I look at the clock and we're approaching 15 and a half minutes to go here in the second half, no score. Played out of bounds by the Red Knights. Storm will get another throw in. Now Fogarty. Intercepted by the Red Knights. Now Burroughs with it. Burroughs working, finding some space. Streaking on the left side. Left-handed centering pass intercepted by Kayla Smart. She boots it out of trouble once again, only to be headed right back in to the Red Knights zone and deflected right back out to midfield. Still in play though. Played there by Cusick. She kicks it, that draws a whistle. And did you pull a card out there? No, I don't believe he did. In the sunshine, it's gonna be an infraction against the Storm. The Red Knights will take possession and there's gonna be a free kick. And that means Kayla Smart with her strong leg from about the 47, boots it down into the wind. Headed by the Storm. Fogarty heads it, now back out. Played by Valerie for the Storm. Smart kicks it right back into the offensive zone. Headed there by number five, that is Buller. And then back in the Red Knight zone. A lot of this all night long, back and forth. Now a chance for Bella Naples going against Smart. Smart wins that one again on defense. She digs in, relieves the pressure as it goes out of bounds. Quick throw in here by the Storm, wasting no time, trying to catch the Red Knights off guard. And they'll throw it in again. That is Fogarty, gives it up to Burroughs. They are just communicating well. Now coming out on the near side, that was Valerie, unable to get by the defense. And that is the story of this Red Knight team, isn't it? Their defense is outstanding. And that has been clearly evidenced tonight. 13 and a half minutes to go, still no score. Back into the game for the Red Knights, number 
just looking at some of the score totals here, they have given up only one game with more than a goal. They gave up three to visitation, which they tied. Otherwise, they've given up one, one, zero, one, three, one, zero, one, zero, zero. And that is the story of the success for this Red Knight team is their defense without question. And the Storm's defense is also very good. The Red Knights have had their scoring opportunities, but unable to capitalize. Now on the far side and a chance for the Red Knights. Can she catch up in time? She does. That was number 14. Sienna Carver and a quick shot just to the right side and out of bounds. And that'll be a free kick for the goaltender, Sydney Falk. Now Bella Naples, who sat there momentarily, came back in as the wind continues to gust here. And the sun continues to set. Blustery, windy night. You can see the trees blowing in the background there. Now intercepted by Gillian and a chance and a shot. Oh, right on the mark. Gillian with the interception and Hannah Buller Right there, wide open, tried to sneak it to the right side, but there was Sydney Falk. Johnny on the spot, able to make that save, and now a miss header by number seven could have resulted in a scoring opportunity for the Red Knights, but just didn't quite make it there. Now, far side, Kaya Burrows for the Storm. We're under 12 minutes to go here from the Quinn Athletic Complex on the beautiful campus of Benilde St. Margaret's. As these two teams are trying to settle this one on the field. Lyra Carter now will throw it in on the far side. We're under in 11 and a half minutes. And she takes a running throw at it and it gets headed. And intercepted by the storm momentarily back out and Carter catches up with it. Now to Smart at midfield. Smart left foots it. Centering pass. Picked up by the Storm. And now Brooklyn Miller with an opening. And a possible two on one. Miller comes in. The pass to the far side. Hillens with it with a chance. Takes a shot. Blocked in front. It allowed the Storm to catch up. But a great scoring opportunity. Still with a great opportunity. Hillens with the shot. As she took the pass from number 14, Santa Carver. And it goes out of bounds. And possession flag. Favors the storm as they'll have a throw in and they're far deep in. There's Kyra Burroughs with it and a great opportunity there for the Red Knights. Brooklyn Miller came in on the left side, but the storm got back quickly to squelch that opportunity as we're now under 10 and a half minutes to go. 10.20 you can see on your screen, the scoreboard there. And the storm now with 10 minutes to go here. Round of applause from their home, from their visiting crowd. That 10 minute mark, that's go time here. I would dare say next goal, if there is a goal, wins this one. Given the defense of both teams and boy, the purplish weather clouds are really starting to move in here. We may not be seeing the sun for much longer. And now that is Fogarty intercepted by Carter. Good defense again by the Red Knights. As they have been frustrating this Storm team all night long. Now deflected there again by number 14, Sienna Carver. Out of bounds, way out of bounds in the stands up there. You can see on your screen. Clock continues to wind down. Number 11, Paige Perry. And now checking in like she did late in the first half, Paige Perry as reinforcements, and there she is. And she, that's what she does. She throws it in often, and she's given the honors there, throwing it in. Now quickly to number 14, Sienna Carver. Carver, the centering pass to Brooklyn Miller. She streaks right in over to Gillian. Gillian with the left-footed shot. And the rebound and the shot by number five, Buller. Didn't quite get enough on it. I think Buller could stand to be more aggressive in her shots. That was the second time she had it. Right here, the one-timer. And it looks like it got deflected and Miller almost got the rebound and then Hillens almost with the rebound as she sends it over the net. 
And that'll turn the ball over now with under eight and a half minutes to go. Now Valerie back to Smart. She boots it right back solidly into the offensive zone for the Red Knights. And it's out of bounds off the storm. That means number 11, Paige Pari, comes over to throw it in. And now a substitution seven, right there Gaston. before and your eyes. Number nine, Grace Horsch. Grace Horsch, that's how you pronounce it. It's not that hard. Don't even pay attention to the spelling. Now on the far side, the centering pass is deflected. And now a corner kick opportunity for the Red Knights. Their first of the match comes with almost only seven and a half minutes remaining. And that is Grace Horse with the honors in the sunshine as they set up. She shoots it in there. Miller tries to head it. And there it is, a goal. Gillian from Brooklyn Miller gets the goal on the corner kick. They're only one of the evening, and it results in a goal and a 1-0 lead with 7.28 to go. Amazing stuff here. Grace Horse. Miller with the header right to Gillian and she gets the quick right foot and gets it by Faulkner for the 1-0 lead. Can you believe it? My goodness. Grace Horse to Brooklyn Miller to Gillian. Amazing, amazing goal here at home. Here is the announcement. I don't know if you can hear it. They have a very enthusiastic PA announcer, which I appreciate. Gillian, that's her 13th on the year. By far the leading scorer. What a satisfying win here. If the Red Knights can hold on, Smart takes a shot with that. And you can bet the Storm are really gonna start to put the pressure on here. They are not leading in the conference, although they are tied with Bloomington Jefferson at 3-0. Waconia is 2-0 and 2, and then the Red Knights, but they're gonna be right up there for the conference lead with the win tonight if they can hang on with six and a half minutes to go. What a great goal that was on the corner kick. It was their only opportunity tonight thus far, and they took full advantage of it, and that header by Brooklyn Miller was absolutely brilliant. All the way around, the corner kick, the header by Miller, and the goal by Gillian. Well done. All right now, approaching six minutes to go. Storm with it, trying to get it back into the offensive zone. See if they can tie this thing up as it goes out of bounds. And the throw-in will be for the Red Knights. That is number 11, Paige Perry. Throws it in. Storm throwing. And the Storm throw it in. Red Knights run. And now the Red Knights have it. Five and a half minutes to go. And boy, you can feel the wind has come out of the sails of the Storm. There's a lot of wind on that field, but it's not in the spirits of the Storm. They're going to have to dig deep to get some momentum and try to tie this thing up. Kayla Smart boots it, gets deflected from behind, and now possibly here a chance for the Storm. That's Bella Naples, and it's kicked out by Lyra Carter, and the ball quickly thrown back in by Naples. Storm are very dangerous. A lot of time left here, five minutes exactly, but a great defensive turnover by number 22, Abby Garvin. Garvin fighting, and it gets taken away by Kyra Burroughs. Look at him going after it, shoulder to shoulder. No whistle, let him play. Carter boots it to midfield. You can feel how important this game is for the Red Knights for sure. Now on the far side, number 11 is Paige Parry. Or no, excuse me, that's number 11 for the Storm. Kelsey Brastad goes out of bounds. Four and a half minutes remaining. Throw in by the Red Knights. Gillian tried to get it back to number 11 and it's intercepted. That was Paige Parry. Now that is Number two, Carter boots it away as the Storm tried to get something going there, and now it's back out. And coming in, and there's a whistle, and it's gonna be a turnover. Nope, it's gonna remain with the Storm. They quickly throw it in, knowing that there's time is of the essence. Fogarty, and did it go off of Kayla Smart? It did, and now we got a corner kick. 
coming with less than four minutes to go. Clock still ticking. 355, the storm, they set it up quickly. That's number 13 with the honors. That's Hudson Steer. Into the sunshine, wasting no time. The ball comes right in. Loose in front. And it comes out. And that's Bella Naples. She gets a trip out there. And no, they let her play on. My goodness, Bella Naples still getting up after that trip. No complaining. And now here come the Red Knights, number 10. Kaya Gillian into the storm zone. Only to be taken right back. Nice, nifty, quick pass by Fogarty to Valerie. Now to the far side, and that's Naples chasing it, but it goes too far, and that is Clara Luger with the save. She's had a great evening in nets, keeping the Red Knights in it to allow them to take that one goal lead here late as we approach three minutes to go. Luger taking her time, and the clock has now stopped at 3.07. Not sure what the issue is that resulted in the clock stoppage there's the referee coming over and approaching him on the near side out of the camera view is number seven nicolette bisson who's checked in and i can't see there's bisson number seven he's talking to her and maybe it was a substitution issue of some kind and there's a conversation there Checking in, meantime, for the Storm, Bryn Johnswold, a freshman defender. Again, I'm uh, not smart enough to know what that's all about. The referee now comes over to the goaltender, Claire Luger, and now he blows the whistle clock back underway. Three minutes to go right now. Ball at midfield. Possession with the Red Knights, that's Nicolette Bisson. Gets it ahead to Gillian, now taken back away by the Storm. That's Fogarty being guarded closely by Abby Garvin for the Red Knights. Garvin wins that as well. What great defense by the Red Knights. Can't say enough about it. But here comes Fogarty. She boots it ahead, chasing it as Kayla Smart, and she's gonna allow it to go out of bounds on its own. Smart play there by Smart. Two and a half minutes to go. She'll throw it in. Clock stopped with two and a half. And some substitutions again. It looks like number seven, Nicolette Bisson was checking in. Maybe I was just called her name though. Maybe it wasn't her. And throwing it in, number 11, Paige Parry. Goes right out of bounds. She'll move right up the sideline. Anna, Anna Prang checking in for the Red Knights. Now Gillian takes a push right in front of the referee and now that is gonna be a card, isn't it? He made some, yep, here comes the card. There it is. That was a blatant push on Gillian. I didn't see who made the push, but I saw the push. And that'll be a free kick. Clock stopped with 2.16 to go. Still some significant time left though. The storm are very dangerous. Six was with the push. Thank you, Leah. So number six was Claire Naples, the senior. And now there is Bella Naples, her sister, throwing it in. And the storm have the ball in a full two minutes to do some damage and tie it up. Now Fogarty being pushed by the near sidelines. Centering pass, deflected back out and cleared back out to Gillian at the 30 and she turns on it and pushes it out into the open area. And that'll clear out some more clock time and it comes all the way out of bounds. Clock continues to run, one and a half minutes to go. What a brilliant play by Gillian. Just put it out into the blue yonder there and let it just bound around and the clock continues to tick now. 1.22 to go, Storm out of bounds. Red Possession Knights towards the Red Knights, throwing it in, Paige Parry. Stay tuned for the men's coming up here in 25 minutes. Storm throwing. More soccer action live on YouTube, Park TV 16 Sports, glad you're with us. And this has been a great match tonight. One minute now remaining in the match. Big conference matchup here at home for the Red Knights. 
Coming up next, they have Miniha Academy and Orno at home, and then two more on the road, Chaska and Hill Murray. Big win here as we approach the latter stages of the fall season. 42 seconds to go. Now back in the red night zone, headed there by number 15, Anna Prang. Now at midfield, Gillian fans on it, but it comes right back to her and she gets the left foot and kicks it down. And that'll eat up some more clock with 26 seconds remaining. And I guess there was a whistle there. And we're gonna have a free kick for the Storm. So a chance here, maybe their last chance from the 45, 25.9 seconds, a free kick. And the clock's running and they're wasting time there. And now kicking it is Kaya Burrows right in there, headed by Kayla Smart in the far box. Kick right back in and out of bounds. And that is not gonna be a corner kick and that should do it with 9.4 seconds to go. They really don't even have to kick it here, but they will anyway. Kayla Smart kicks it off. And there is your final whistle and the final score on a late goal by Gillian from Brooklyn Miller and Borsch. And a big win there by the Red Knights and that celebration is a big one. And that's a big win in this Metro West Conference matchup. So our final score from McLean Athletic Center on the campus of Benil. Benil gets the conference win. They go to seven and three and two. Storm fall to seven and two. So for Leah, our director, Paul, our producer, my name is Robert Christensen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again.